In this first tutorial, I'm going to step you through the initial registration process with Google for a domain name for Google Apps. We can do all this from the browser. I'm going to use Google Chrome. I really like Google Chrome, especially the fact that it's so minimalistic. So we'll go ahead and just start right from scratch. Let's go to Google. Let's pretend like we don't even know where to start. And we are going to search for Google Apps Standard Edition. And you'll notice the very first link that we can click on, we have two options, a Premier Edition or a Standard Edition. We'll go ahead and get started in this example with the Standard Edition. The first thing that it wants us to tell is whether or not we own an existing domain or if we want to buy a domain. We'll continue that we own the domain. And furthermore, it wants us to check that we are an administrator or an end user. Of course, we're assuming in this tutorial that you are an administrator and that you have access to your DNS registry settings and can change your MX records. If you don't, then another tutorial might be appropriate for you. But in this tutorial, we'll move forward as an administrator. And this is for appsetup.info, which is a collaborative uh, portal that I hope to set up for uh, various community to support uh, the Google Apps and the Google Solutions Marketplace specifically. So if you're a developer, you want to get involved with the app setup.info project, get in touch with me. We're more than happy to uh, collaborate. So let's go ahead and get started with app setup.info. Now in the sign up process, it wants us to answer several questions. You're going to want to review these questions and answer them according to your organization's information. Now one thing I do want to call your attention to right here is this checkbox. Basically what this check checkbox is asking you is to absolutely ensure that you have access to register and change your DNS settings including your CNAME records and your MX records. So assuming that, let's, let's go ahead and fill in this web form, number of users, 50. First name Terry, last name Harden, email address nollybab at cloudtechllc.com, phone number 201-485-7510, country region United States, job title President. I actually enjoy doing this stuff. We now make sure we check that checkbox. Organization name. Now the case doesn't really matter. I just typed it that way because that's the way I like to see it. We're just going to choose general business, choose a size for our organization, uh, and go ahead and set these settings however you'd like for your uh, circumstances. And go ahead and click continue. And the next thing that it wants us to do is set up an administrator account. So in this example, I'm going to go ahead and use the username nollybab at appsetup.info. I've got a password already set. I'm going to reset that. And I'll go ahead and sign up for the new features. And as far as feedback in the future, I'd like to participate and provide Google for more information. Now, I'm not going to read through the entire terms and conditions, but I recommend that you do carefully understand what it is you're committing to and you're doing a business. But I'll tell you what, these are great terms of condition, services and conditions. Uh, have your people look at it. You're going to be very impressed. Google is really doing a good thing here. So let's go ahead and accept this and continue. Just waiting for a response from Google. It's processing the information. And that's it. Now in the next step, we're going to have to actually activate Google Apps and verify our domain ownership. But for right now, we've basically done the registration process and that concludes this tutorial. Thank you.